Say hello, young men. Come on in, come on in. These young men are amazing young men, and we're watching their lives change dramatically. So I please, as they hear that, they go just hug them, touch them, just give them an encouraging word because they are beautiful, amazing young people. And y'all, you are in a room of greatness. Thank you all so much. I'm very thankful for all of you young men. Where are you going? One more speech and you can eat. And the reason I, I need you to hear this because this is about you. I want you to understand something, gentlemen. I need you in here. You have changed my life. And I need you to know that. On my way over here every day, I spend, I, my kids live in Miami, my son and my daughter. My daughter calls today, she says, Daddy, and we're going over school, and every single day we go over the same thing. And she said, when you coming home? I said, baby, Daddy gonna come home, that's what we'll do. We'll get the calendar this weekend, and we'll decide, find a day to come home. I said, remember that video I showed you about those young men? I said, baby, Daddy's here working with them. And one thing they know about Daddy is my love and passion for young people. One of the things that these young men has taught me is that it's never too late to learn. Amen. And it's never too much to give and too much to love. These young men are absolutely amazing. Tonight after we leave here, I got a call last week, uh, so I'll go say enough. The Georgia Legislative Black Caucus said, we want to honor you. I said, really, when? They said, on Thursday the 25th. I said, oh, that's nice, but I'm sorry. It's a group of young men that I made a commitment to. Amen. And when I make a commitment, my daddy taught me and my mama taught me when my word is bond. So I'm sorry, unless you can feed my young men and bring them along, then I'm sorry I won't be able to make it. I said, that's a lot of folk to feed. How many young men? I said, well, I probably could have about 15, 12 to 15 of them. They said, well, I'm sorry, we can't afford to be. I said, well, y'all have a wonderful time because my commitment to these young men. A week passed as Monday came and they said, have you made up your mind? I said, my mind was made up when I told you to the last week that I'm not going anywhere without my young men. I made a commitment. We called DNK. DNK said, come on. I said, I need some shirts and ties. I need some drawers and some socks and some shoes. Today, Vivian and I and a few others went down to McNabb and Michelle and we iron shirts and taught them how to tie ties. And don't they look beautiful? Yes. yes. leave here shortly and I thank you all so much for the honor, your commitment and the awesome things you all are doing for us and with us. One last thing before I go, every kid asked me when they first got, when I first met them, did, I have, did Tommy have a job? <laughs> I told me I have a job I don't have an answer you think, I think you want to hear, but there's a difference between my job and my occupation. My occupation things I do to get a check. God has blessed me real good. But when I'm doing my job, I'm doing what I'm born to do. And we are born to be about our father's business. Yes. So I thank Michelle for birthing this amazing, amazing project yes. because it is exactly that.